the rusty crayfish, or Conectes rusticus, native in the Ohio Valley, was first noticed in Ontario in the 1960s, likely introduced by fishermen who were using them as bait. We first found them in the mouth of the Jock River in 1987, and they were already hybrids with the native Orconectes propinquish among them. In the winter of 2013, we first noticed them here in Kempfield Creek at our weekly mud puppy night in Oxford Mills. This individual is, is going up the slope of the rock right up towards the spillway and will come out of the water here at the foot of the dam. In spring of 2016, with lower than usual water levels, we were amazed by the quantities of crayfish bits left behind where predators, probably raccoons, had feasted on them at night on what appeared to be a massive migration of hybrids upstream toward the dam. The water was too fast and high all this summer for crayfish to get this far upstream, but when the rain stopped and the water levels fell in September, the assault of the invasives has resumed even, even greater force than we observed last year. There is great reproductive advantage in being a pioneer. These invaders are the offspring of many generations of successful pioneers who have forced their way upstream into new territory. Finding little resistance from the mild-natured reclusive resident species or Connectis virilis and plenty of food for their offspring. By the time they reach Kenfield Creek, these migrating hordes appear to have bred themselves into a mania, a fever pitch of pioneering spirit, even leaving the water to scale the vertical stone wall of the dam itself. This summer, the moss, the moss seemed to have grown very well, and uh, it's become also overwhelmed by this filamentous algae. Last summer's drought left the rocks bare, just baked by the sun, and we were afraid that the moss had completely been wiped out. walking here and observing crayfish. Here's one that's threatening another. And you'll see him losing ground a bit. The one that's upstream is actually going to lose its own footing and you'll see it there. It just it just went it got swept downstream over top of this one. There's another one coming in along a crack. It seems to feel that it has advantage against the current and can make good time, although it's not going directly upstream. The the, ba the bottom of the creek here is is a rock. It's it's limestone bedrock and very flat. So there's not really much purchase not much shelter from the current. These crayfish are just struggling with might and main to to get upstream toward the dam. Here is a little bit of a the litter of crayfish claws and carapaces that are left by probably raccoons, possibly otters. And Fred's going to be collecting he collects them every time we come to visit. This just shows how shallow the water is here, right at the foot of the spillway. Most of the water is coming over the east spillway and there's relatively little 
coming through in the west. It's just coming through between in the chinks between the logs. There's a small group of them here trying to make their way around the corner right in the face of the rushing water. Crazy crayfish. Getting a little bit of splash on the on the camera here. It makes a bit of a blur, but you can see them struggling for for purchase and forcing their way past each other. In a moment, they'll be flipped back by the water. These two here. Earlier, there was one trying to go in up backwards, just inserting its tail into the, right against the flow. Oh, there they go.